What's going on guys? Outside getting some fresh air because it's just a beautiful day out and it's lunchtime, so I figured I'd go for a little skateboard ride. Anyways, I just finished editing a new video. It is behind the scenes from a baptism I photographed about a few weeks ago. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Subscribe, subscribe to the channel as I'm gonna be posting a lot more. I uh, wanna try to not get hit by this truck. Um, I'm gonna be posting a lot more, so definitely subscribe to the channel and like this video if you enjoyed it. All right, let's get into the behind the scenes. Thanks. What's going on guys? Thanks for watching this video, I appreciate it. You are now on top of my camera at this baptism. I usually like to arrive at the baptisms around 45 minutes early um, and get my prep shots. As you can see here, uh, I'm actually setting them up this time around. A lot of times, usually the detail shots are kind of already set up for me, like the, um, the mom and dad or um, the godparents have already set up the table with the detail shots, so I don't have to worry about doing that stuff it's nice to be able to set it up sometimes because i get to choose the location and like kind of have more control over my composition um as you can hear the videographer screaming in the background because he's trying to record some audio um so yeah usually i get those detail shots around 20 to 40 ish minutes before the service actually starts and then i kind of just grab candidates before um so here i like to find uh, a spot where i can kind of put my backpack to where I don't have to worry about people like, you know, sitting on it or, you know, messing with it. So right now I'm switching over to my wide angle lens because I realize this is a very small shrine in Tarpon Springs. Like it's a very small church and there's a lot of stuff on the sides of this picture. If you see there's a bag there, a towel there, and I'm getting shots that, you know, are wide but a little bit tight. Um, kind of what I'm focusing on in this area for the prep shots. Now I'm just grabbing a few candidates. Um, got the wide angle lens on still and um, just kind of... Seeing what opportunities there are for like candid photos. I ended up switching back to my 28 to 75 as you can see right now, just because I realized that a lot of people started to show up and there's not gonna be much flexible space to like move around. So I was like, you know what, let me have something a 28 wide and then a 75. Um, this is the whole family right there in those shots. Decided to set up a different spot for some prep shots, the detail shots, um, a nice table. I like that those flowers kind of peeking in the background of the photos. Those are cool. Here, um, the godmom actually gift was gifted a cross from the uh, mother for the baby. So I was just grabbing a few photos of them opening up this package. Package, what the heck? This present <laughs> beforehand. Some candid shots, some normal shots, um, just so that I can use that cross for the detail shots because that's a crucial um, detail for um, Orthodox baptisms. So yeah, here's me getting those detailed shots of the cross with the candles in the background and stuff like that. Got a few tight shots and also got a few wide shots as well. The shutter, you can hear it in the video. It's not as loud as you think it is. Um, it's definitely a lot louder because the GoPro is directly on top of my camera, but it's, it's more quieter, um, more quieter. Well, uh, it's quieter than that. So yeah, just grabbing up some last few minute detail shots. Um, this is a shot of the bowl where they're gonna actually dunk Lori into, so that looks really nice with the copper and the white, so I made sure to capture that. This is the godmom, she's very pretty, um, and they're definitely very cute together, uh, so I wanted to make sure I captured that day. And she was very happy too, I could tell that she was actually happy to be the godmom. I feel like sometimes people like volunteer for these things and they're just kind of like whatever about it, but I could tell she was very excited and that was, that was very nice to see. The baby wasn't having it in that photo. <laughs> she was like, yo, I'm just trying to take a nap. <laughs> But yeah, just grabbing a few formal shots before anybody else kind of shows up. And then um, the service will be starting and everything from that moment on will just be candid opportunities. So I'm pretty much done with the prep shots. I would say it took me in total setup to, and to put everything away, maybe about 25 minutes. Um, then I just grabbed a few more formal shots and kind of went from there. Here's the mom with her daughter. So I just kind of took an opportunity to grab a few more candids before everything started. She's cute. <laughs> this is actually the uh, woman that hired me, so I wanted to make sure I just had her in the video as well and took a few shots of her with her, um, her granddaughter as well. Here, I've noticed that somebody moved my backpack. It actually really frustrated me in the moment because all the stuff fell out and that kind of aggravates me because, I mean, my backpack holds like close to three or $4,000 in lenses and cameras. So it's like, 
gets a little aggravating. Maybe it was my fault. Who knows? But I just thought I'd include that in. So the service actually starts in the back of the church. And like, again, this, this church is very small. Um, so I just was starting to capture all of those moments. There was a lot of light leaking in from the windows and the door, which kind of made the shots kind of backlit and kind of interesting to see. Um, was def a little bit more difficult in post, but I, had, I worked it all out and it was everything was okay. As you can see, I'm dodging a lot of uh, other people. It gets frustrating sometimes, like right here, <laughs> when there's other people taking pictures because it's like I only usually want to be the only one hired. Um, and this guy was like on my hip the whole time, which is fine, um, but it just makes things a little bit more difficult and you start competing for space. So here I'm just grabbing a few candid shots of them. I thought these were kind of cute moments uh, that I wanted to make sure that I didn't let pass up. Here she's grabbing her hand. That was a cool shot. I feel like throughout the service she was like super awake and then like, all right, it's time. I take, I take a nap now. <laughs> but here she's awake, obviously, and I grabbed a shot real quick as she went by, but they're moving into the front of the church um, where the actual service is going to take place, the main portion of it. So I'm just kind of setting up. A lot of people are definitely piling in at this moment, so it's definitely getting a lot more crowded. But I was able to still grab a few shots of them before anything serious went down. I noticed they put the candles on top of the gospel, and I really like that for like a detail shot. So I grabbed that real quick during the service, then kind of went back and focused on the service. When you're photographing baptisms, you really don't want to miss any of the moments. A lot of times you're going to see me firing off shots. It's not really because I'm like just holding on the button and praying that I have a good shot. It's because I'm just trying to get moments where, you know, like if it's three people in the shot, I would love for all three of them to be smiling. Like this is a great photo right there. She's super cute in this moment. Um, and I just was firing off shots in those moments to make sure I don't miss anything like that and miss those opportunities. So the service is going on. It's definitely starting to fill up. Um, a lot of people's in the uh, solea, the front part of the uh, the uh, church where the actual service is taking place. There you go. There you hear me firing off shots. <laughs> so a lot of like major key po moments are going to be happening now, where he's blessing the water, he'll be blessing the oil. Then, you know, then they start dunking the baby. So I wanted to make sure that I find a spot that I can be in where I don't have to worry about people getting in my way or that other guy with the camera was. I don't want to necessarily say he was a photographer. <laughs> um, but here's where the oil goes into the water. He starts pouring it in. Right there, and then she's going to get oil onto her hands. And I'm just making sure I am composing these where there's less stuff in the background. You can obviously see with this wide-angle GoPro all the things in the background. And I'm trying to avoid those. Here the baby gets taken out of her um, clothes and gets into, um, obviously, into her birthday suit. <laughs> her, she's naked now and ready for the rest of the service. Mm -hmm. And I'm just trying to capture a few of those moments real quick. It was really difficult, as you could see. I had to kind of maneuver my way back to my spot as there was a lot of people there, and I didn't want to lose my spot. Caught a good shot here with her smiling and her reaching out for her god bomb, which is a very interesting um, shot in perspective. So here you, see, you hear me firing away, just trying to get shots. More people in the background than I would have liked. Um, I would have obviously liked for it to be more open, but that's okay. Here comes the main portion of the service. The oil gets rubbed all over Lori's body. Um, her godmom is obviously doing all of this in the moments, um, but definitely makes for uh, very good photo opportunities and very good candid opportunities. So yeah, you hear me firing away now. I'm not missing anything. I'm hoping she's smiling. I'm hoping the baby's not crying or crying because that kind of makes for... Uh, good photos, but unfortunately for baptism, because the babies are usually always crying. <laughs> you hear the mom apologizing in the background, because I think a little bit of the oil got in the baby's eyes, but I think they, cl they cleaned it out. Then here comes the major moments where, you know, the baby's going to be dunked into the water, being cleaned of all of her sins. I wanted to isolate this photo specifically by itself. I feel like that's the part of the of Greek baptisms that everybody kind of knows um, is obviously the dunking. 
And don't worry for anybody that's older. They don't dunk old people. When I say old people, I mean like not babies. <laughs> in, in a bath, it's more of like a small tub. But very cool moment. As you can see, I'm like pretty much, I'm not going anywhere else. There's about 100 kids to my left and about 100 adults to my right. So all of my shots come from this one specific angle. Right there, I was telling her to look straight. That way I can get just a nice like mom type portrait of her smiling because I feel like the parents will love that. Service is going on, it's just going on as planned. Um, this is when the baby is going to be kind of like rubbed down of like the water and the oil. Um, not too much though, because you want to keep it on her skin a little bit as like the blessing. Um, but here's when she would get changed into a, a pretty much an all white outfit. Um, I'm trying to not take any shots of her, including her private area, because it's not really something that the parents will be posting. Um, so yeah, just kind of paying attention for that. This was a very crowded area. I kind of got frustrated. I was like, okay, I'm getting in here. So that's when I kind of like made my way in there and just got a few shots of just her smiling with that really bright light from the window kind of like peeking through. Usually in the past, this is set up a little bit better for whoever's taking photos or video to get that, but we kind of didn't have that opportunity here just because the church was so small. Now we're just kind of capturing those, capturing those closing moments of the service. Um, I'm just firing off candids whenever I can and kind of just paying attention for any um, nice things that are happening, whether the baby's smiling or laughing or the godmom is smiling or laughing, just kind of paying attention to those things like this shot right here. She was so restless here, and at one point right here, she literally looked right at my camera, which was very, very good shot to have. I always like to make sure I get any shots where the priest touches the baby. Um, I feel like the, the uh, parents really um, value having those kind of shots right there. And as always, I always like to deliver all the images to the church if they have some sort of website, which I don't think this shrine does. And I deliver all these images to the priest as well, um, just in case he would like to post them on his Facebook and celebrate the baptism that he performed. Or here he's reading the gospel, and I just you know got a few shots of him reading um, the gospel so that I can deliver to him and as well to the church if they would like those images. The colors in here were very prominent, which is really nice. Here I'm actually uh, cleaning my lens, which I usually do <laughs> before, but I kind of forgot because during halfway through the ceremony, when they do the incense, sometimes I like um, sometimes just the smoke in the air could kind of leave a few particles on on my lens, so I try to make sure I cl always clean that off. Here she's receiving her final blessing, and, and um, I'm just making sure to capture him putting the cross around her neck, which is coming up here soon. I waited perfectly to where the cross was swinging so I can grab a shot. Um, I think that one's coming up here. Yeah. So here she's blessing him, or her, and in preparation of putting the cross on her. So he raises it here, I grab a shot, and then I wait for him to... Uh, go to put the cross on Lori. This is the cross that um, the godmother gifted to the mom. She, was ha she wasn't having it at this point. She was pretty much done. She, she was done. But here she, she's finished. The Lori gets handed back to her mom and dad, and I'm definitely making sure to capture these moments as they're very crucial. Um, sorry about that raised pinky pretty much throughout the whole video. I don't know what it is. That day I just didn't feel like resting my pinky on the, on the lens apparently. <laughs> and this is pretty much the ending of the service here and taking a few more shots of of Lori as she kind of calms down a little bit is with her mom. <laughs> that was a very cute one right there. The cross was nice and front and center. And basically that's pretty much the service guys. And it's really easy to kind of capture capture a baptism. You just kind of have to focus on those candid moments. Here's a family shot with the priest, and that's about it. And here's a selfie with the yaya at the end. It was nice. I really enjoyed it.